Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to continue our Fire Emblem Awakening experience and adventure. We have only two paralogues left, and then we can continue with the main story. There is a bunch of Risen running across the lands, but, uh, well, most of it is in Plegia, so I think we can ignore that for now. In truth, I just want to get on with the story. Sure, there's some characters that could probably benefit from some grinding, but I already did a lot of grinding, for God's sakes. Let's look at the barracks. I didn't realize that would happen. Just more and more stuff is just getting in here. <laughs> what the fuck is that little... that image? It's a big person with a little person next to him? What is that? Let's see. <laughs> okay. Cynthia. I am Cynthia. Now die in the name of a brighter future. Oh, that's good. Coming up with one-liners, are you? Oh, there's a plant. There's a, there's a flower vase on the table. How sweet. My, you positively glow today. Has my dashing and thrones left you enraptured? Go away. Or do you care how I feel? <laughs> and somehow that improved their relationship. Oh, I guess it's like a... A parent conversation. Mother, are you all right? We need your we need your mind, but not at the expense of your health. You can see right through your mother, Morgan, but don't worry, I'll be fine. From the like the character talk sprites, you'd think that he'd be slightly shorter. Hot damn, I am cooking with fire today. Watch me tear up the battlefield. And then she just came back in. You're doing great out there. Why don't you and me team up, uh, tag team some risen scum? Okay, I'll do my best. Together we can take whatever the bad guys throw at us. Didn't even... <laughs> I wonder if that even means anything. If I was going to look at something, then I forgot. Oh, yeah. I've, I've already done a, enough grinding. Thank you very much. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, too much grinding, in my opinion. But now, Paralogue 15, Kidnapper's Keep. And now let's get the real answer. Paralogue 15, A Shot from the Dark. <laughs> Who are you? Are you alone, lamb? Off searching for dear old mum. How very sweet. But the world's a dangerous place, my dear. Full of wolves waiting to snatch you up. Um, thank you for the warning, sir, but... That's no warning, lamb. I'm a wolf, and you've been snatched. Now come quietly. Scars tend to lower the sale price, and we wouldn't want that. My lord. Slavers, my lord. Such damnable scum. What? We'll have to hurry if we hope to catch them. <laughs> or we could stay right here and just let me go to work on them. A curse to wither them away, perhaps. A slow death over a year. Oh, fie. Let's make it two. I think their captive would likely appreciate something a bit more immediate. Shepherds, saving the girl is our top priority. Now move out! <laughs> well, that's kind of dark. Presumably, who I assume to be. Let's see. Who deserves to be thrown into the nothingness? We're gonna take yarn. I guess we'll move you out and uh, put a... Uh, where are you? Where are you? I'm blind, you see. Tharja, get in here. <laughs> At least the game was nice this time. It was like, hey, we're going to put the mother here. Let's see. So I'm going to guess. Where is she? She's all the way up here, surrounded. Jesus. All right. We probably need to rearrange more flyers onto the team. Hmm. Because at least Tharja will go with Cordelia. Because more than likely, they're all going to come to me. Is, are there any, like, chests or anything? There's a sparkly, but I don't really care. So, yeah, this is mostly, like, a fly up here, get to her before these guys. I'm going to presume that they can't fly over because these look like higher walls. Like, these walls I could see being flown over. But maybe these walls can't be flown over, so they have to actually come to this entrance. Or, like, at least maybe this one, I don't know. The game is odd sometimes with Diddly Deep, but yeah, not at all how I expected Farja's daughter to come out. Maybe she chills out in later years. 
but yeah. Well, actually, we're gonna move Muriel out. And I guess put... Maybe Sumia? Maybe. But Cordelia is already doing, like... Well, our Cordelia is already in there. Let's see. Who flyers do we have? Cynthia, but you would get annihilated, probably. But I guess... Uh, I guess we can give you a chance. We're just not going to pair Tharja up with you. All right. And everybody is ready. I'll move that there. Let's see. Tharja, Tharja, Tharja. Where is Tharja? Tharja's over here. Can get there. And I do believe that we are ready to get there. I really need to look at the bottom mini-map more. I keep forgetting that exists because that's usually where the stats are. Well, let's go! So it's tired. over. My life is over. Mother, I'll be by your side soon. Not if we have anything to say about it. First off, we're going to pair everybody up. Let's see. We'll pair you together so that, like, uh, hmm, let's see. Who should we pair with you? Donald! Let's see, Donald is, like, a friggin' badass. Yeah, Donald, go with her so she doesn't fucking die. I doubt that you'll form a support, but who cares. Let's see. Who else should go where? I guess I could pair... No, I probably shouldn't, because we need to fly. Our hardest strikers will pair together. I'm sorry, my boy, but you'll have to go alone. Actually, hmm. Yeah, because bow knight, so I'm going to assume that's why. So yeah, they can't get there. So we need to kind of go to this part. And then we'll hopefully be able to do it. Do you have somebody? You do. Just wanted to double check. Now, just don't die. It'd be very sad if you died. And we'll all go the same direction because they're all going to be charging after us more than likely. Hilarious that he was in the back yet. He could go kind of the farthest. <laughs> Your silly spear can only do one damage if you manage to hit. Good job, Tharja. All of them are ranged. Now this guy could do some damage. Motherfucker. I guess I can't complain too much because I got all the crits. Or I got crits for days in the past few. But still. It hurts. But this is mostly... Drawing them away so they hopefully don't do things. So this is how it ends. Killed or worse, a clean death could be a mercy compared to what awaits. What's this, an old bow? Mm, the string's still taut. I suppose I could use this to try and fight my way out. But those bandits are so strong and scary and... Wait, my talisman! Let me just grab my talisman and then... I am the fire and the fury! All who defy me will perish! Repent, scum! Repent, though it will not save you! Jesus, what she said. And now she's gone on a murder spree. She's about to go on a murder spree, I guess. Huh. Interesting. Let's see. Who should we kill? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Is there anybody that would do, like, not too much damage to this guy? I think everybody would kill everybody. I'll bronze bow this guy so Cynthia can get hit him. Just don't crit. He got lethality. <laughs> Once again, it sounded like he said something fucker. We done? That was not what was meant to happen. But 
Fine, we'll come in and we'll smack this guy to death. Maybe we should have brought Sumia. Then she could heal. Come on in and kill this guy. Jesus Christ, only nine damage? We really should have leveled you up more. Come up here and smite you with a bronze lance because we can. Get stabbed by a weapon rider. Considering the poor deer. Now the question is, who is scarier? Because I don't think she's... So it's basically lances. Lance. Axe. I do believe... That's it. Well, let's see. So axes are scary. We'll take you out to the ball game. Die. Have another! Thanks. Oh, you say thanks to him, but everybody else, it's like, don't meddle in my fate. Oh, I have control over her now. I did not expect that. And now, now okay, I just have control of her. Hmm. Let's see. Who can I kill easily? Just come down here and blast you with a bow, I guess. Because I can. I didn't expect her to be activated. The horsemen of the apocalypse are coming for me. Go ahead and kill this guy. And now you get a crit, and it's worthless to us. Again, the flapping noises are so loud. Let's see, who has Tharja again? You have Tharja? Let's move up. Because, let's see... Yeah, we can't go over. Good to know. And go ahead and grab this while we can. I snuck in some practice. Now who dare face me? Well, the craziness runs in the family, I guess. Just pile up. Oh yeah, I forgot that you can heal like that. Now, can you talk or can't you? Ah, you don't even have to. It's kind of odd. But okie dokie. I suppose -y. There's something odd about that. Again, you'd think that she would be here, like, fighting them off one by one, and then we'd have to come save her. It just feels odd. Well, let's go ahead and try and level you up some. Smack this man. Hmm. 
blast away. Oh, he won't die. Well, then again, that could then level up Cynthia, but it's just like the others that scare me. Really. Let's not put Cynthia in danger. More than we have to. Let's see, would you kill? You would. We really should have given you a better bow, but oh well, maybe you'll get lucky. Kill him! Maybe you'll get lethality crit. Nope, he lives with one HP. Because he is a jerk. Come on by and kill this guy. If you can. That was mine. That guy had a master seal? Why? Not that I'm complaining, I'm just surprised. If you get lethality, I'd laugh. The most useless lethality it would have been. I'm going to kill you by taking all your HP. All one of it. <laughs> it's like, congratulations. It does nothing. Smack him with a lance. Lance him with a smack. And you missed, fool. Now you get crit. Apparently they're all gonna choose death. Unless they all get hits, then they might uh, give him death instead. Good. Let's see. Who deserves this kill? Well, let's give it to him anyway. I'm here to kill you with an axe. You blocked one damage. Good job, Krom. And now we'll be able to master seal him with the master seal he got. Fate is stingy today. It's not fate, moron. You know what, I'm gonna move him just a little bit away. So that they can, like, heal up some. Through the magical power of being alone healing. Oh, it didn't activate because I probably was too close to people. Damn it. Slowly move everybody up because we can. And not get into danger. The danger can come to us instead. We probably shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have did that. Go ahead. You get bonus damage against the beasties, so murder. Is it over? Ah, there's still a lot of motherfuckers we have to kill. that can then give Cynthia a thing, I guess. Never mind. He, he says no for Cynthia. Cynthia does not get any experience this day. Especially because, well, we'll wait and see. Let's go ahead and blast him with a bow and get some bully on while we can. Time. 
Booyah. I forgot to take the goddess staff off. Let's see. Let's arc thunder it, because we can. Don't you dare miss. <laughs> Did you double vengeance? You haven't even taken any damage to make use of. But now you can do all the things. And we'll come here just to block them off. And come here just so we can. You fool! Now you will feel her vengeance. That she decided not to activate this time. Double vengeance before, no vengeance now, and that one actually hit her. Although I just wondered, I wonder if there's like a... If she... If, uh, whatever her name is, I didn't even look at her name. But like... If she has a special recruitment thing or not. Like, I don't know. Normally it feels like there's, like, conditions. Now you are dead, probably. They've all come to fight Tharja. You would do, like, no damage. cover you so they can't even get to you. Hey, da, da da You fix her. I should have let Krom get this kill. The mo like the mobility is just too good. Although I just had the thought, what if there was, like, a weird, like, challenge where, like, the goal is to, like, I don't know. I will do this, so maybe the daughter will. I keep forgetting to look at her, her name. Never mind, this guy is dead. 69. This man got 69'd by a dragon and died. And now we need to just, like, come over this way to smite this guy because he's all alone in the world and old. Oh, wait, we can't. <laughs> Unless we want to go the long way, I guess the other long way we'll have to do. Unless we want to fly over. I guess we can, like, just go around the perimeter of all our land-based minions come along. We will swap to you because you have better mobility. Let's try and get you healed. Somewhat. Haha! -ha. I'm doing this the long way, I know. But screw it. Why do their footsteps become clippity clop? I'm. I know. I'm doing this the long way. We will suffer. It's not like there's a turn limit. Go there, which is hopefully far enough away. Yes, I want them to stay there. <laughs> no. Not you. Where 
We'll get there quickly, eventually. The whole army will be here. Guess you can come closer. Let's see, is he just a stand around? No, he actually has movement. And since we're close enough, we'll have Krom take some smackings. Some smackings and whackings. And we'll set Donald to do it so that, well, she doesn't die. Who will come to fight? Who will come to die? You missed, you fool. Now die. <laughs> Just that voice saying that, I'm going to end you, <laughs> amuses me. Oh no, ranged motherfucker. You bastard. How dare you do four damage. Four damage. Four of it. Let's see. Who deserves some shootings and shooting shotings? Kill them. Go flying. But it's kind of hilarious that, like... Tharja's daughter is like a borderline maniac. Ever so slightly sad. <laughs> Murder galore. And levels galore for you. Like, seriously. Let's see. Guess we'll swap because we can. Blast him with lightning. Once again, no vengeance. You'd think vengeance would be good. You dare to face the Donald? Do you? Let's have Naui potentially get some hits in. You monster. He actually went up and smacked her face to face. You know what? I'm going to blast you if now because you're mean. Get blasted again. And finally, a level up for Naui. And it seems like he's going to come up and die to her. Ah, because he's a ground-based guy. So if he survives Naui, everybody else can get a hit in. But I have a feeling that he's not going to survive Naui. Are you dead? I think he's dead. More meat for the wolf, is it? Nah, you, you were hunting a dragon. Your silver bow isn't even gonna do that much, man. Bye bye. Double, triple bye bye. I've had my fill. What does that even mean? I forgot to look at Darja's daughter's name again. Noir. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Had you not saved me, I... I feared to even think what would have happened. You all right? It's all right. Take it easy. No one's going to hurt you now. <laughs> Please, sir, let me come with you. There's someone I need to talk to, but I'm s scared to be alone. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, I'm 
I mean, uh, here, please look at this. What? Nice ring. Looks just like mine. You messing around with alchemy? Or is this something darker? What? what? No, it's nothing of the sort. It's just... What? Tell me the truth, girl. You don't want to see what happens if you lie to me. But please, just give me... I need a moment. My, my talisman. Where's my talisman? <laughs> I am blood and thunder! I am righteous fury! I am your future daughter! What are you doing? You are trying my patience. <laughs> I speak the truth! The ring I bear also hails from the future. A memento of you, my departed mother. What? And that bizarre talisman? Your own handiwork, wrought to steal the mewling heart of your coward daughter. In its strength did I find blessed escape from grief and solitude. Fear of death and killing, too, it drove from me until I became an avatar of retribution. Only by clinging to it have I survived the crushing desolation of a ruinated future. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, give me that. Oh, wait, I need that! Without it, I can't! Survive? You can and will. And not by becoming some avatar of retribution. Just be my daughter. Leave the retribution to me. But mother... My, this is a nasty little number. The future me is good. And very, very bad. <laughs> I can't wait. But mother, you're frightening me again. <laughs> this little trinket will advance my research in the dark arts nicely. You have my blood, right? I'm going to need a bit of it back. <laughs> Jesus. I, I mean... Bleed me dry and I shall bear thunder still. <laughs> See, no daughter of mine needs some mummer's prop to be strong. <laughs> Great, it's a whole family of crazy people. Huh? Oh, this is just wonderful. I wonder what Gregor will think of his partially insane daughter. And then the Risen were replaced by merchants. Hello, guys. Where are you all sneaking off to? Yep. Just taking a quick stroll around the perimeter. I want to make sure there aren't any enemies sneaking up on us. Oh. Such diligence should help us all sleep easier at night. Oh, yeah? <laughs> First time a lady's ever said that to me. Still, thanks. <sighs> of course, you're a seasoned rogue and a man of the world. I envy your experience. I honestly believe you're one of the most important cogs in the Shepherd's Machine. Huh. Never been called a cog before either, but thanks again. Hilarious, because <sighs> digging deep into my memories, like... One time when I tried to play the game a long, long time ago, I think I killed Gaius. Because uh, I was like, hmm, obviously this is a guy. How do I get him on my team? And then I killed him. I'm like, oh shit, and I restarted. So it'd be amusing. You're the most important cog, that dark future where he's dead. Which is why I want to put that worldly experience and wisdom to better use. Hey. Yep, right on schedule. How's that? What do you mean? Wow. You don't butter up a guy like that unless you want something. My, but you are a sharp one, and I mean it sincerely. I might as well get on with it. I've been hearing rumors about you. Huh? Oh, do tell. No. I hear you're planning to sneak away from camp and abandon the shepherds. Oh. I see. So you came all the way out here to see if I'd do a runner. <laughs> I had to know if the rumors are true. Nope. Look, the, most the next time you have a question about my motivations, just ask. I like a compliment as much as the next guy, but we could have saved a lot of time here. <laughs> you're not angry? All part of being a thief. If I got burned every time someone spied on me, I wouldn't last a week. Thank you. I see. Well, in the future, I shall be certain not to let you discover me. Oh. Wouldn't it be easier just to stop spying on me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too sure about that. And now, let's see how the f crazy family goes. Uh, yeah. You there. E mother, did you need something? What, are you doing? what were you doing in that last battle? Were you trying to distract me? Huh? I... did I? I'm sorry, I didn't intend to, I swear. What? You mirrored my every movement. It was like some bizarre curse. Mm -hmm. Oh, that... well, you see... Pretty much. Don't care, doesn't matter, just stop. <laughs> no, no, wait, it was force of habit! What? What habit? Sorry. In the future, you were always too wrapped up in your research to teach me things. Not that I blame you, I know you had your reasons. You were consumed with avenging father? Oh, <laughs> so part of... ah, she, do, she does love Gregor. Neat. So you never had time to waste on me. But I wanted to help you, so I, I taught myself magic and dark arts by following your example. Yeah. And that became a habit. Yeah. Er, well, yeah, I guess. Why does it feel like... 
then shouldn't she be a dark mage as well and not a, like, I don't know, like, shouldn't she be a dark mage, like, bowman then, instead of just a pure bowman? I don't think she could use magic. Pretty much. Hmm. Oh, oh but if it's a distraction, I'll stop, I promise. So, um, it'd be really nice if maybe you didn't put any weird curses on me? I see. Hmm, I'm thinking this could have its uses. <laughs> Tharja even hurts her family, but let's see what Gregor thinks of his daughter. <laughs> Noah, what is wrong? What do you make with the crying? I'm not. Mother cursed me to have a runny nose for three days straight. Oi, what a terrible night. Do we have a curse? Yes. <laughs> Castlevania. It's nothing new. Mother is always trying out some new spell or another. Every time she comes up with one, she uses me as her guinea pig. No, Poor no. child. Here, take Gregor's handkerchief. Thank you. Good <laughs> Gregor cannot let you suffer like this for three old days. Do not worry. He will go talk with mother and fix situation. Um, are you sure? That never really worked out for you in the future. Every time you talk back, Mother cursed you up to your eyeballs. Or sometimes she just cursed your eyeballs and you cried yourself to sleep. Huh? Oi, future Gregor sounds like pathetic man-child. Yes. Yep. <laughs> but that was different Gregor, yes? This Gregor much more dependable. <laughs> hey, but, well, you never talked like that before. Maybe things really can be different this time around. Did future... Did future Tharja break Gregor? That's... I almost feel sorry for putting Gregor into that world. Oh, I'm walking away when the last goddamn thing's over here. Well, let's see. Manor of Lost Souls, Paralogue 16. The last, presume, I presume, daughter to dragons. Oh, yeah, now we... This will be interesting. Let's see. Why does she almost look older? I think it's the haircut. She almost looks older than Naoi. All right, Nah. You can do this. You're strong. You're brave. You... Eek! Uh, uh, just a statue. Nothing to be afraid of. Uh, what the heck is that? It's arisen. In this manner of lost souls. Uh, wait a minute. This is silly. I can turn into a dragon. What am I worried about? How do I get out of this wretched place? And why are we here? Did anyone else hear a girl scream? Come on, shepherds, hurry! So we heard her scream in the manor and we've come to save her. Well, I do believe that we should already have certain things. Let's see, move you out, move you out, because you just, you would die. Nope, she's just an archer, can't use magic. Hmm. So many characters I can use now. So freaking many. I guess we'll bring Frederick in because we need to level him up because he's a poor, poor man. And we'll bring Morgan in too. I'm not playing favorites. Shut up. Let's see. Huh. I'm going to guess that they're going to open that door themselves. Or is there like... Huh. Well, we definitely want Gaius in this one. Well, I guess... Let's save, I guess, and we'll just go. You'll find a way out, nah. Uh, how do you say your name? Nah, nay? Just keep it together. Why are you in a room? How did you even get in there? I'll have you go alone so you can team up with your daughter. Let's see. can go together. We'll activate that just so we can. You go with Yon. Unless we can team up there. And you can team up as well, so we can get your relationship booming. We haven't brought Vike along, so we can't do much there. Let's see. You know what? I haven't teamed up these two yet. I 
And this works out because they're A ranked together. I'm gonna give that sparkly to Naoi, because we can. And plus we can also get like everybody prepared for war. Down this way. Because I don't think there's much of a like a uh, time limit. Never mind, there is kind of a time limit. I thought that sparkly might activate something. Hmm. Although maybe we can use magic to blast you. Wouldn't even die. We need to give you more magic. I mean, even the odds by burning a guy alive into petals. Success. Grab that. I got some quick training in. A leader should always be at the top of his game. Guess that works. I guess we should go in further just because we can. been a bit, so we should probably let you get some hits in. I forgot to give you other weapons. I need to go through my inventory again. Manner of Lost Souls? More like Manner of Lost flame <laughs> Frames. Again, my tongue is just going like, ah, change words into other words. Do I have to fly over or what? I do not know. We'll have to see if we can fly over or not. What the fuck? Who's a, was there just a guy in a... In, uh, there, was a there was a guy in that corner that I didn't realize? Are you serious? There was just a guy hiding in the corner from the camera? At least that's what I got out of it. Yes, feed the man. He has been starving for experience. And pain, apparently. And he actually got not the full experience, but a decent amount. And I just forgot to master at arms the, the master seal the guy. Jerome. Well, that's a dangerous amount of damage. Oh, she can go in. Interesting. Before that, we're gonna blast you away. Because get out of here. How dare you threaten somebody. So you must die. And I just realized there's kind of a dark, like, possibility that if you played things right in a lot of these, you could just, like, leave the children to die. Dark. And we're just gonna smack you with a lance. Get stabbed. Victory. So no, there wasn't a guy. Do you just have like... What, is this just like an ability to get attack anywhere? 3 to 10 range! Jesus! Okie dokie. I think we need to, uh... Not let that happen again. And more 
Oh. Okie dokie. Ooh, you're the little girl we're looking for. It takes one to know one. <laughs> it may look that way, but I'm actually quite old. I'm a dragonkin. Oh, well, so am I. Actually, wait, are you Naoi? Wow, nice guess. It is you. All right, I've told you my name. Now how, tell me yours. Nah. Oh, come on, why not? No, nah, N-H, N-A-H, that's my name. That's a confusing name. And whose fault is that? How the heck should I know? Anyway, this place isn't safe. Let's get you out of here. After you. Bear up. That is amusing to me. And we'll in turn, because we can. Yeah, this is an interesting mechanic for this place. I suppose maybe we should put mages in the way to potentially, like... Like, I don't know. It does counterattacking work. And I keep forgetting to give people proper weapons. But let's move in a team. And of course, he attacks the one that can't attack back. If that 4% chance hits, oof. That is a terrifying thing. I assume that was a, like, scripted thing so that when that diddly d happens, it, like, makes sense. Let's see. Who has Gaius? You have Gaius. We'll put you back in and uh, have him run down here and uh, hopefully not die to that guy. Ooh, door keys, so I assume we can open these doors. But I want those chests more than anything. I wonder when that's going to open up, when I raid the fridge, as it were. There are multiple of these motherfuckers. They have low hit chance because it's probably how far away it is. And nope, we cannot attack back. Oh, she has a different model! And she got a hit! Fuck! Then again, that's a lot of scary guys. But at the same time... Well, let's first see how many of these guys have, like... So we need to stay just out of their reach. I'm going to prepare for an invasion through the next broken doorway. Except for these guys. These guys can keep coming down here. As well as you, because more than likely... The moment that we get those chests, they're going to come for us. Good job. And they attack again, because they're jerks. Super jerk, this guy. Lethality would have been nice. Or crit. Crit would have been nice, too. Ah, shit. Well, at least he'll do no damage, and you can smack him back. Good job, Nah. Oh, and there's a door key. Interesting. Hmm. But what if we change to magic? Would allow yarn to kill him? Funnily, if he got Ignis, that would have killed him. Now smack this guy. Eat his liver. More levels for the boy.
and got a door key. Let's see, what do we have? We've got Arena's Bolt. Let's use it some, because we're going to be attacked galore. Checkmate indeed. Murder his soul. Hmm. How about we let Naoi take this? Because she is bulked. So cool. How dare you stab a dragon? And both of the people with, like, uh, yeah, the people holding the key went up here, didn't they? Who hold the key? You hold key. And I, I think I'm just going to let him stay there because the thing's probably going to... Is it not going to open up because we're just standing there? That's kind of mean. Ever so slightly mean, game. It's like the nose. Now you're gonna get blasted. Good job. Get a blasted. Get Ignis and blasted. things first we need to come over here to grab grab some chest because I don't like you we're gonna come up here and smack you with a lance but I really do like this like level idea even though uh Slightly worrisome. And I shall. Yeah, let's yeah, let's have Crom be here. How dare you? At least they're all going for the one that can hit back a million times as hard. That is at least something. Yes, come out and make yourselves easier targets, my friends. Come over here, swap open door so we can at least get everything together if we wanna. And a second seal, neat. Let's see. Yeah, let's just smack him. Hopefully he'll die. And die he did. And a level up for Lucina. Now this makes me wonder how the... Like, uh... Other world really functioned. Now well, we haven't used Killing Edge in a while. Let's use it. That's why I have the Killing Edge. Well fought. <laughs> well fought. Killed him in one hit. Other guys like I can't believe he's mocking me. Donnie is becoming a monster. I freaking swear. 
Yeah, I think we uh, should run. Ever so slightly. Gather up with the others. <laughs> so that there's like less of a chance of us getting caught out. What is with these guys with like low hit, like low percent chance to hit magics? Do I just have good resistance or something? And now all the ways are in. Go ahead and axe this guy question. Imagine having a magic flamethrower and you just keep missing. Also, nah, why were you in here? What were you hoping to do? Hoping to accomplish. Well, let's see if we can get lucky. All we need is Lucina to just throw a hit in. Or a crit, that works too. He's so shocked about it. And we'll go ahead and blast him with some arrows. I just also realized that I probably have a ton of, like, permanent stat-ups that I should be using. Band together. And hope that they all miss. And Jesus, that's a big crit chance on them. Oh, that's terrifying. Luckily, he missed twice. Why are you all ranged? Why are you all ranged? Every last one of them is ranged, and they're going for the one that's all... Okay, thank God. How did you miss that? Jesus. I'm gonna come smack you for sword, because you're ugly. Yeah, they all went after Cherish for some reason. Fucking bastards. Yeah, sure, blast them. I like that they gave her a different model. Which is very nice. Well, I guess maybe different, maybe it's just different textures, but still. And she says the exact same thing. I feel like I can ravage an entire army. We'll blast you with, uh, I guess, Katarina's Thunderbolt. Get annihilated. Hey, they actually have a chance to do damage while having no hit or crit. That's new, I think. I guess they can bypass the resistances, but not like the actual chance to do things. Interesting. Let's see. Wouldn't kill him unless he got lethality, but let's give it a shot. And this time, Krom gets a crit. <laughs> We were going to feed yarn that, though. Come up here and smack this guy, because we can. Oh, there it is! The 0% chance to hit, but with 16% chance to crit! What happens if you crit on your miss? Like, does it just, like, is it impossible? There's a percent chance to crit despite no chance to hit, so I don't know. I don't know. Hey there, it's me. It's me, Goku. Booyah. Swordbreaker? What's that skill? 
Grants hit avoid plus 50 if an enemy is using a sword. God. That feels badass. Talk my age, my mother says. I may as well practice drooling before a mirror. <laughs> She's like, you're only this old. You have to be very young. That makes me wonder if, like, being part human affects her at all. I just realized we haven't let... To be fair, we were inundated with enemies and split up, so... Haven't let Frederick do much. I have the door key, we might as well use it. Unless I just absolutely have to use Gaius. We don't have pro we probably don't have to, but we can. And plus, why not open the door? Because we don't know when the magic diddly D is gonna do stuff. We can't trust the magic diddly D. The magic of diddly D is a lie. And here to mock us. Door. At least the doors that we unlock stay open. That's at least a thing. And there's another chest in there. We'll go here just in case. Okay, never mind. Then we will go towards this door as well. Come along, Gaius. We need you to open another door so you can then be there to open another chest. Or if we plan things properly, maybe we could have Pan open the door and then you can open a chest. Single path lines. <laughs> Played the angry music for just a second. All right, everybody. Let us prepare for war on this side of a door. Well, actually, forgot. We're gonna have you open the door. I will actually do damage, so. Get in there now, we blast him apart. So he has a chance to hit but do no damage, but I could have. Oh, yeah, because I put now in. Meh. Good job, Nah. Her name is just so odd. Smack this man apart. to take him just to the experience range. Well, let's come up here and grab it. Chest. Bullion. Huzzah. Now, who will go for who? This might be good if he lives. Again, how would that guy even hit you? He goes so slow. And another level up for the man. I mean, if we really wanted to, we could give him, like, the class diddly D if we wanted to. We don't have to. Just go and... Get him to level 20. But, it's like, good stat points. These guys have had a bad track record of hitting me, and now they're going to hit him as a retribution for what I said. No. Here I thought that my hubris would come to eat me. Go 
Go ahead and kill him. Another crit, that's just going to be overkill. If we can get him one more level, I might just not feel that bad. Let's see. Go ahead and blast him. Why do you have, like, a, a six-eyed helmet? Why do you need that? Prison are weird. Canadians are weird. And we'll come here just because we can and put her... Eh, let's keep... Yeah, with that. And let's put bronze bow in because we can. Who are you going to attack? The man who can't fight back, you bitch. Go ahead and blast him a bit, and then Frederick should be able to kill him. I do find it funny. I forgot that you get... <laughs> I forgot! And now shimmickety smack him. I probably should have better put a better weapon in there, but I'm a fool. Now the question is... Ah, since you're not going to come and fight us, I'm going to let Nog get the kill on you. If at all possible. We'll have Jerome. Drum there. We'll move you out of the way so we can actually put people who can help. Yarn there. Well, let's see. And uh, Morgan here. And Bah. Jerome, Yarn, Morgan. And Nah. Yeah. Blast this guy apart. Boom. I always feel it's just narratively satisfying for the prologue child to kill the boss of the prologue. Hey. Thank you so much. If you hadn't come, I'd have been an adorable smear on the wall by now. Listen. Can you make it home on your own? No. Nope. I don't have a home. Not anymore. What? Then I'll arrange one for you and Elise. No, this. my place is here with you now. I'm strong enough to fight, you know. Right. Well, seeing as you're a manikeet, I certainly don't doubt that. Look, if you're sure this is what you want, then we'd love to have you. Yes. I'm sure, and thank you. You won't regret it. <laughs> That's nice of... Crom to be like, oh, you don't have a home? I'll give you one in my lands. <laughs> Can I ask you something, Nowy? Does this look familiar? Oh, you have the same ring as me! What a crazy, crazy coincidence! Nope. It's not a coincidence. This is your ring. It's a memento from my mother, from the future. It keeps me safe now that, now that you're gone. Huh? Nah. Trust me. No, I'm serious. It does. Huh? Huh? Oh, <laughs> you did it to yourself that time. But no, I think it's very sweet. And now that you're with me, you don't have to hold back. No problem. I wasn't holding back. I fought as hard as I could. Nope. No, you fought brilliantly, nah. But that's not what I meant. I was talking about your tears. If you're sad, you can talk to me. <laughs> no, I... I have to be strong. Everyone expects me to. I can turn into a dragon, you know, and that's not normal. So I have to put on a brave face and protect everyone just like you do. We'll be fine. Oh, your mother cries all the time, dear. All the time. Trust me on this. Holding things back won't make you stronger. Just be you, nah. That's enough. I... This whole time, I... I know it's been pretty scary, but you made it through. 
Mother, I... Oh, it was awful. I thought I was going to die. How adorable. It's okay, nah. Mother's here now. How adorable. And all the paralogs are done, unless another one's like, Oh, you've done all the paralogs? Better spawn another one. Don't you dare. Good. <laughs> Lucina and Jan. Ow! For a shallow cut, my arm sure doesn't want to heal up. Still really hurts, too. I knew I saw someone behind that tree, but no! I had to go charge in like an idiot. Oh, well, I'm still alive and the arm will heal. I'll count my blessings. Um, Might I have a minute, Yarn? Hmm? Sure, what is it? No. I wanted to see if you're recovering. Mm -hmm. What? This? I'm fine, thanks. I'm sorry you had to see me fall for such an obvious ambush. I was doing so well, too, but you know me! It's not a battle if I don't screw up. No, wait. That's not true at all. But I'm just glad you weren't more seriously hurt. I promised I would watch your back, and now I'm so, so sorry, Yarn. What? No, don't apologize. We're at war. Nicks and scratches are bound to happen. Still. Hey, That's very kind of you, Lucina. But I'm the one who needs to shape up, not you. <laughs> Next time I'll show him this rabbit's no easy prey. Give him the old Togwell one-two. Just please. Huh? Please be careful. Don't do anything rash. In the last battle, it almost seemed like you were trying to protect me. I'll be twice the fool if you get hurt trying to keep me safe while I try to keep you safe. Well, I can't just sit back and let you do all the work. And I can't keep you all to myself. The others need your help, too. Plus, I want to keep you safe as much as you want to keep me safe. We're friends. But don't you no, of course, that's all true, but mm -hmm. believe me, I'm not eager to get hurt either. I'll do my best to stay out of trouble. Right. And I'll do my best to keep trouble away from you. So adorable. I love these characters. And let's see. Na and Naoi. Now, look, look! See all the pretty flowers? Let's go pick some and make flower necklaces! It'll be so fun! Nope. You go. As you can see, I'm busy right now. Huh? What is that? Some kind of picture book? Let me see. Oh, boo, it's full of writing! Yay. It's a book of the use of dragon stones in battle. I found it in the baggage train. Is it fun? Because it looks like the opposite of fun. Trust me. Of course it isn't fun, but it's a vital that I study these kinds of things. Aww. This army would be way better if we didn't have to do so much boring stuff. So Doubtless, but it's our duty to learn all the arcane secrets of our dragon stones. We have inherited a unique and truly powerful ability. We must cultivate and master it so that we can do better to serve our allies in battle. Ew, do you always use such big words? I'm not used to thinking so hard. Why don't we run into the woods and play a game before our brains melt? <sighs> Mother, you need to take this more seriously. We're in the midst of a war. We'll be fine. I know, silly, but thinking about it all the time isn't going to help me. The tougher things get, the more I laugh, and that makes everyone else laugh, too. I think that's kind of my job here, to keep everyone smiling. Wow. Wait, you think your role in this army is to play all the time? <laughs> exactly, Mundo. So what do you say? Let's go play! <laughs> ah, well, you certainly are good at your job, I'll give you that. <laughs> and what will Donald think? <sighs> Dealing with Mother is just so exasperating. All she ever does is play, 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 as if she does hasn't a care in the world. <laughs> What's wrong, Nah? You seem awfully peeved. Huh? Oh, hello, Father. I was just thinking about Mother again. How do you stand her? Don't you find her incredibly childish, annoying even? She spends almost all her time running around camp playing games. Yeah. Ain't that a kick? I was just thinking how alike the two of you are. But no, I don't find her annoying. It's who she is. I wouldn't want her to change. So... Psst, Father, you're much too kind. If you're always this tolerant, she'll never learn to act her age. <laughs> well, I... What do you like about her anyway? She's so You're so serious and responsible and she runs around like a headless chicken. I have no idea what you see in her. Unless you rushed into a marriage for some reason. Like you got her... What? Don't be ridiculous! I know exactly what I was getting into! Trust me. Oh, that's quite a protest there. I guessed right, didn't I? Huh? Heck no! I know knew your ma was a bit flighty at times. I just find it charming. <sighs> you know what, father? I don't believe you one bit. Come now, spit it out. Why did you marry her? <laughs> Enough, it ain't right to be talking about your ma like this. Yeah. Hey, stop, don't run away from me. Wait! <laughs> Does she? That's kind of hilarious and sad. <laughs> that she's just like, why did you really marry mother? Let's see. We need to get you a good steel axe. Lucina's doing good. 
Jerome. We need to... Actually, that'll work out well, because we need to Master Seal Jerome. And we're going to turn you into a Weavern Lord, because we're not getting rid of Minerva. I'm attached to Minerva now. She gets armor again. I wonder what will happen to his mask. He'll probably keep it. Although it would be hilarious if he lost it on his model, but kept it on his... <laughs> his, like, little icon. But nope, it's mostly Armored Minerva once again. And Minerva's just like, And here I thought I got rid of all this armor. Anything to attain greater power. And now you can use spears! Speaking of that, let's give you another steel axe and an, a bronze spear. We're going to need to get more bronze stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and store that, store that, store that, and uh, give you another dragon stone. We need to buy more dragon stones. Pan could use, we'll put that away, put that away. Uh, we'll get a better bow, because I do believe, let's see, D, steel bow. We'll give you a steel bow then. I think that'll do good. We'll take the beast killer. And the drop, because let's see, we'll give you a steel sword then. And we'll give you another steel axe. Basically, I need to go buy tons of each thing. Cordelia could use a better lance. Let's see, because you have an A in lance, so you can use any lance. So let's see. How many steel lances do we have that aren't in use? Lots of steel lances. Good. Store that. Store that. Let's see. We have. We can take any of these. What's a good, like... Might 10. What about any of these? I guess I'll take Micah's that. And then we'll take a normal sword. We have C, so we can do just about anything. Could take Levin swords, but I'm gonna take a normal, like, steel sword. We have so many people that use swords. Morgan, we could give you another thing. Because let's see, you have C and magic. Which means you can use Arc Fire. So let's give you an Arc Fire then. Store that. Let's see. And give you... We'll take away that Levin sword, but give you... Let's see, because you have an A in sword, so let's give you a sword. We could give you a Roy's blade, if we really wanted. Oh, fuck it, let's give him a killing edge. We'll take the door key and we'll give you a beast stone. Frederick has no diddly d. We need to give him a lance. Let's give him a silver lance because he's a poor boy. Hmm. And let's just take a look. Oh, he can't be yet because he's already at his max. So let's see. What can you become? He can become a paladin and lose his axe. That is one thing. Hmm. I think uh, we'll go one more and then so that he can actually do the thing. And then everybody else is just kind of in the we don't really use them range. Alright, but let's see. Open up the shop. Let's go back and see what you have. Nosferatu, steel bow. We can get steel bow anywhere. And we have lots to freaking sell anyways. Don't really care. Short Axe, Silver Axe. There are so many shops that we can buy from. We can buy Silver Lances and Killer Lances. What can I fix you with? Well, not Forge, Sell. Let's see. Because we have lots that we gotta sell. I have way too much. Alright. 
I'll take a few silver lances. And I kill a few killer lances as well. That should hold us off for a bit. Same thing with swords. We'll take a few steel swords, because we're running low. A few silver swords. And a few killing edges, because we can. Because I have all the money in the world. What can I fix you with? It's just the same guy over and over again. Sure, why not? I have all the money in the world, and I didn't even grind money that much. I think I might have, like, overall done the money one, like, twice? Maybe three times? I think we should buy another dragon... more dragon stones, yes. I think bows. Did we get bows? There's the steel. Ah, here's the bow one. What can I fix you with? Oh yeah. I think that shall do it ever er. Let's see. I'll take Alm's blade and actually give him a silver blade, I guess. Because now we have it. It's good. Ah, and you should be able to do that too. Let's give you a silver sword to use in battle as well. I'm almost good. Bobbity bar. And he's A in everything, so we'll give him a silver sword. Give him a silver axe, because we can. And now he'll just be the silver guy. Our silver god. Everything else should be fine. Now the question is, do I want to, like, of our main army, let's see. We have a lot of things that we can, like, give people. We have five, like, HP ups. Let's see. Of our main army, who has low health? Maybe Gaius. Frederick. I think we'll give you... I went the wrong way. I'll do it twice. Some for Nah, because we can. Of course, there's the other ones that are just, like, low on health in general, because I haven't been using them. So maybe I should, like... But these are my main army people. They're already kind of bolstered, though. So I don't know exactly how much I should, like, be super bolstering them. Hmm. Arms. You know what? Hmm. So many things. Talismans increases, Naga's tear increases. And all their stats by two, I forgot about that. Well, let's go ahead and use that. Let's use it twice, actually. Can actually do stuff. Because she 
she is a C rank, so she should be. She can use killing edges. And all the bows, except longbow. Let's go, silver bow. The thing is with the stat ups is like I want to use them, but at the same time I don't. But either way, now we can get on with the story because we have a full army of children. Go, my child soldiers! Onto the sea road. Chapter 14 Flames on the Blue. Take it all in. Breathtaking. Somehow our troubles feel a lifetime away out here. Hmm. Yet in truth, we're headed straight toward them. I should be grateful the Plegians delivered us this fleet as promised. But it's my first time on a vessel in my legs. I never fancied myself a sea captain. <laughs> this is my first voyage as well. In my time, all ships were destroyed, smashed to pieces along with their ports. Listen. Lucina, something I've been meaning to ask. After you stopped Im's assassination, why didn't you stay with us? I'm so I felt I had no other choice. I could not risk altering history any more than necessary. I sought only to divert events that directly led to Grima's return. Huh? Hey, so wait, what about those the guys who tried to kill Krom in the gardens? What would have happened if you didn't save him? Yes. He would have been gravely wounded. And those wounds would have played a part in tragedies to come. Oh. Whoa, good thing you changed things, huh? If indeed they have changed, the river of time always favors its, favors its original course. Take the exalt's death. I stalled it, yes, but in the end I was not able to prevent it. But you did kind of shift Plegian's, like, thoughts. Because instead of Imran dying in Elise to assassins... She chose to die herself on Plegian soil, which caused a bunch of Plegians to, like, actually kind of turn and turn on Gangrel. So, at the very least, it was probable that even if Vanderin or whatever his name, the frickin' apparently our father, is, like, a bad guy trying to bring about Grima's return, he can't probably do it as openly because enough Plegians are willing to support Elise after that. Or at least want cessation of hostilities with Elise. So there was a big change there. Also, I just, I just realized something. Lucina came back to the past. And because, because she stopped, like, Krom from being wounded... And stopped Imran from being assassinated. That caused us to go to Plegia, which then caused us to meet up with Libra a bit earlier. So I don't know. Maybe I guess Libra and Pan's relationship could have still panned out. But how would have um, Tharja joined up with Elise in the original timeline? You did what you could. I was so certain it was over, that I'd saved the world. But time simply found another way back to its course. Perhaps the task is simply too great. Perhaps if I'd done something differently, I'd replay events in my head over and over. No. Don't. You did your best. And you saved me, after all. Yes. You're kind, Father, but nothing is certain. Another could take your life. Time could find a way. Listen. Do you know how I die? <sighs> Only rumors. I was told you fell in a great battle fought to sway your destiny and that you were murdered betrayed by someone dear to you oh no I know exactly what they're talking about so am I from the future am I act but no I can't be that far in the future because that's the thing everybody like Morgans says that I'm like a decade younger I'm no different than the Hierophant, like, evil sister clone past self of me. 
So I can't totally be from the future, but I got that premonition either way. You are Leon, what is it? Oh. My head. I don't... Forgive me. I'm fine. After your murder and Grima's return, I took the name Marth and fought back. I prayed to the Hero King for a small part of the strength he used to save the world. But I need this subterfuge no longer. I choose to fight as Lucina now. The name that reminds me of the strength in the man and woman who chose it. Good. A strength shared by the woman who bears it. The only downside is, like, none of the future children are going to play actual roles in the story. That's kind of sad. Then again, a lot of the characters don't actually play a role in the story because they are soldiers and have to be programmed to die and be uh, slated away from the story. So, like, then again, maybe Frederick and Lyssa could also die? I think the only ones that can, like not stay dead are the Avatar, Trom, and Lucina. Presumably. I wonder how, because like, I, surely some situations where some of these recurring characters that we have under our control could die and not come back if us altering events, maybe. Hmm. The Pegasus Knights report the Valmy's fleet matches ours, ship for ship. Hmm? Your tone tells me this is not good news. <sighs> Their troops vastly outnumber ours. Our vessels are half full at best, but every Valmy ship is packed from stem to stern with soldiers. Right. If we attempt to board them in a straight fight, we'll be slaughtered. <sighs> we have little choice but to try anyway. Plegia had no men to spare, but they were generous with other supplies, including oil. Perhaps a clever tactician could find a use for that. Hmm, hmm perhaps she could. If we put, can put their ships to flame, they'd have nowhere to escape to. We could... You could roast us all like hams! Are you truly so eager to die, woman? Do you have a better idea, Oaf? The problem is we have no catapults. Hmm. How to get the lit oil on their decks without our own ships getting caught ablaze? Pegasus Knights! Hmm. I see. Unless we want our ships caught in the blaze... Why in God's name would... Well, now you know better than to question Neon. Especially not when she has that look in her eye. God save us from what she's cooked up this time. Let's just hope it's not us. Crom, Crom I have an idea. Hmm? Those words from your mouth are music to my ears, Neon. All right. But for my plan to work, we'll need to disrupt their chain of command. Our strongest team would need to board their lead ship and kill their general. As our best captain, I'd have you head the squad, but you are the prince, so... It's all right. Yes, I am the prince. So no one can order me not to go. I will lead the assault. <sighs> then this plan truly stands a chance. Huh. <laughs> so much has changed since we found you that day. Lying in the open field. Hard to believe you determine the fate of our entire army now. Our entire people. Destiny has a strange way. No, Krom. Ne not destiny. What? what? All right. We're not pawns of some scripted fate. I believe we're more. Much more. Really? How do you mean? Yeah. There's something between us all. Something that keeps us together. Like invisible ties connecting us. Giving us strength. We forge these ties. We strengthen them. If we preserve them or break them, it will be by our choices. Not some destiny. Neon. I think this salty air might have gone to your head. <laughs> all right, all right. Perhaps enough philosophy for one day. There are still details to discuss. Indeed there are. And preparations to be made. Oh, Neon. We are all bound by these invisible ties. I thank the gods it's with you. Are you ready? Now then, everyone. Look lively. We have work to do. Let's see. Select units. Who do we want to bring along? Who do we want to bring along? Maybe not. I want to level up our Manakeets. Yeah. I think this army might do well. Maybe swap out Cordelia with somebody? Hmm. And now let's take a look at the map. 
Because there's Ignatius. Never mind, we probably want Gaius. Alright, select units. Who can we spare? Jerome, make way for Gaius. Then Gaius will come over that way. Oh, there's... They have... Oh, there's multiple motherfuckers. Hmm. But he doesn't move, so... Gaius alone can help us. Well, let's fight. <clears throat> One ship against three of ours. They're either very brave or very stupid. Either way, their bodies will float on the long sea before the day is done. Let's see. On Morgan. Hmm. Let's see. You and Frederick, keep him alive. No one else? Because he's on his own. Let's see. No, we can't see. See how it goes. Good job, Donald. You protect your king. Indeed it has. And because he stabbed our boat, we begin to sink. Good job, Lucina. Good job, Lucina. We are absolutely massacring them. Sure, attack him, fool. You'll do nothing. One by one, they die. And one by one, they hurt the poor boy. Will it actually farewell him? I don't think so. That actually did. And he got a talisman. Good job. And they're attacking the wrong person here. Bad job. Goodbye. You all pick a very poor man to try to kill. Challenge. Wasn't really a challenge, and we both know it. And you picked a really bad person to attack. Your short spear was too short. Prom's just standing there, slaughtering them left and right, and they just keep running at him. There. Good 
Goodbye. I'm gonna come in and kill you. And he'll get this chest. Guess he can go back up there. We'll just come over here and strike this guy down since he's being a fool. And you can come here and attack him from afar. Suffer the power of a mighty dragon on a ship. <laughs> That'd actually be kind of funny. It's like, what do they... Sir, what do they have? They have a dragon! What? How the blazes do they have a dragon? Actually, sir, they have two. Dear God. Let's see. Yeah, I don't want to bring too many just yet. So we're just going to blast you out of the air. Toodaloo, motherfucker. And we'll wait. Oh, never mind. <laughs> They actually moved up a bit. Proactive little fuck, aren't you? And I'm certain that there's not much to worry about. Let's see. Really, I should probably put on the bronze lance, stab you some. Level up my lancing. Well, I guess I might as well. Hmm. Because I put away the Iron Lance. I'm sure you can survive. No thunder for you. You picked a really bad guy to try to kill. He's proficient at killing you. Drop kicked. Shoot and fire all you want. I'll blast you because I can. Good job, Morgan. And got a short axe. Kick this wizard in the dick. Come over here and open this chest because I can. Gotta recover. I'll come in and hit him schmiggity schmack. Let's use a steel sword because we can. I think the general must be watching and just like, oh damn, they're just killing all my men. That's not good at all. Swap, but a well, they won't get here in time before I can set up my armies properly. Are those icebergs? 
They are. Interesting. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just going to... Well, first things first, I'm going to equip a goddamn bow. And now I'll open this chest. Let them come to us. And swap. Lanku. Come fight us, fools. Why'd you come fight him? Get stabbed. Get stabbed so hard your horse goes flying. See, now he's kind of smart. But his spear is still, still too short. All you are doing is making him learn the spear faster. That is all that you are doing. Yes, feed the Frederick. Feed him lots. One more kill and he'll good. Longku, no. And this is why we gave him the bow. I'm just gonna make sure you die. Bye. Are you gonna do it the same thing? Nope, you can't. Are they just like eternally lots of them? Come over here and we'll kick this guy. The tog wall will kill you. Lanku comes over here to kill you because you're ugly. It's been a while since I've killed. Oh, I don't think we've ever seen him do this. It's supposed to go five times, but he's just too strong. I'm going to kill you now. Goodbye. And maximum. Frederick can now evolve like the Pokemon that he is. It's kind of hilarious that he's like, Oh, I'm going to start out as like a, an advanced class. And then that turned out kind of kneecapping him to a degree. He was the slowest to level up. Get speared, man. Yes, level weapon up. I completely butchered that. Weapon level up. Well fought, he didn't even hurt you. I will save that for the boy. Lucina, on the other hand, she'll kill. Let's give her... Yeah, let's use some lance as well. All the Grand Lords must learn spearmanship. So that you can annihilate wonderfully. Da, 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 da. So, and we'll let him get some go. Yes. Sir, they're boarding our ship now! Sure, keep hit trying to hit him. He's too fast, too furious. If he got hit right then, I would have been very upset with him. And now they're, we've created such a chokehold that they have to come up nice, close, and die. <sighs> the 
Yes. Keep coming to die, you fool. General's just like, why are there giant rabbits boarding our ship? I'll blast you with some magic. Get obliterated by the power of the sun. I'm gonna stab you with a bronze spear. How does that feel? <laughs> Kick another wizard in the dick. But he did, lady. Yeah, we'll just let it go like this. Sure, go after the assassin. That's a smart idea. Especially when the assassin is backed up by a motherfucking dragon. and grab the sparkling. By thinking on women, he has become stronger. Let's see. Move you here. Swap. Yes. Oop, wrong thing. Let's blast him with fire. Arrogant pup, the seas are my home, and they will be your grave. We've come from the future to sink your arrogance. And now you're gonna die to that dragon you should have freaked out about. Strike me down, and Tin will take my place. You have lost. We just sank two, three of your boats. We didn't even need to set anything on fire. Neon, their general has fallen. I'm giving the signal. Are you ready? All appointed ships, change course. Head right at them. Ramming speed. Gods and thunder. Any second now. Steady. Mark. Steady. We're right on top of them. Now, jump. Are we just going to ignite their entire fleet? <laughs> Jesus. The sea itself is on fire. Right. It worked. It worked! Very nice. Only you could have hatched such a brilliant scheme, Neon. Who else would desert half our vessels and turn them into flaming cannonballs? And there was still enough room on the remaining ships for all our troops. It was so sort of simple and yet the Valmese never saw it coming. They never considered anyone might be willing to sacrifice half a fleet. Right. We may have won the day, but the war still looms. We must continue on and seize control of their main harbor. My boy, I've had enough of the smoke and smell here for one lifetime, besides. Yes. Full speed for Valm! Jesus. We sacrificed half a fleet to kill a whole fleet. Ain't that magical? And what's in this shop? Silver bow, just like more normal stuff. 
you know what? Let's support. And then we'll go on and do another, because why not? Oh, hey. hey, Gaius, who did you vote for? Huh? huh? Vote? I don't know what... Okay. Don't play dumb with me. I saw your, uh, you men standing around earlier. You were voting on who's the best-looking girl in the Shepherds, right? <sighs> oh, that. Yes, there may have been a bit of a ranking going on. I'm not interested in that nonsense. Listen. Yeah, but you still haven't told me who you voted for. Yes, I did. I told you that I left. I didn't vote for anyone. While those fools were haggling, I went to the mess hall and stole their desserts. That's what I call interesting. Okay, okay, I get it. You're not into that sort of thing. Good for you. But still, you must have a favorite type, right? I mean, every guy does. So, like, do you prefer older women, blondes, tall, short, chubby? Hey, cats, but you're a persistent little creature. All right, I prefer older women. Satisfied? Now, will you please stop talking so I can eat Crom's dessert? Oh, what a coincidence! I'm older, so I must be your type! Huh, oh, but... Oh, yeah, you're older than me. I always forget that. But most older women have a certain gravitas that you... lack. Hey, I'm over a thousand years old! We don't come much older than that, you know. I'm not debating your actual age, kid. I'm just saying that... Well, the appeal of a mature woman is in her confidence and poise. Huh? Poise? Huh. You know, how you carry yourself. A poised woman has class and bearing, but still knows exactly what she wants. That? Well, I've got poise, mister. Thousands of years worth of it. I can't believe you don't think I have poise. I am so mad at you right now. Ah, the nerve, I swear. Do we have to? Right, let me explain again. <laughs> That's amusing. I guess we have to go over this again. But alrighty then, on we go to the Valm Harbor. Smoldering Resistance, Chapter 15. <sighs> At last, Valm Harbor. Hmm, it appears well fortified. Prepare the troops, well. Huh? What's that? Right. An altercation. That woman, the Valmese dogs are running her down. <clears throat> An enemy of theirs is a friend of ours. Come on! Are we gonna recruit another? That was fast! Or is that just like. Re. Oh! Sairi? Sairi? Ah, oh, we might wanna throw some flyers in. Let's see. I still want to use Lanku, so we're going to keep Lanku in there. I forgot to do this! We're going to throw you out. Uh, Gaius. And I guess Cynthia, because maybe these will be easier. We'll like, pair up with somebody. Alright, let's see. View map. Because we'll also want some people to come this way and annihilate these guys over here. I'd say two teams. Let's see. A yarn and gnaw. Yarn and gnaw will go down here along with Longku. Yeah, should be able to make it. And everybody else will charge up here to just like crumble them. Farber, in the harbor. Farber, in the harbor. He'll die here. He'll die. Oh, they actually have the animation for it. Uh, who is that? The Ulysses League. So they finally landed. Over here. Over here. We have a cornet. Confound these wretched Imperials. Don't let her get away. What he said. Route the enemy. Our first priority is to hurry and save that woman. Oh, and then we can close off reinforcements? Possible, we should also visit the homes here to see the, how the people fare. Pair them up with Cordelia. Let's see. Darn it, I put them put in the wrong place. Alright, Jerome.
Well, I guess these two will actually go, but wait. Hmm. Face my axe. Hmm, she could kill them. Bring down the hammer. Silver Lance to this guy's gut. Can be. Can be, dude. Ah, I forgot. Go ahead and free her up. Stay by just because we can. Everyone else up there is super good. Good job on missing, moron. And good job on dying, moron. Oh, you're super dead. Bye. One with one. Aha, you picked the worst person to attack. That's so cool! They're fighting on the shore in the water. That's awesome. I love it. You can get a crit for every swing. Oh, that's amazing. Granted, it does lower the overall attack, so, but still. Good. It's only two damage if it hits. Eight damage for eight percent. The implications are terrible. What if he could do 100 damage at 100%? Yes, come here and die. Good job, Donald. Donald coming in for super murder. Yeah, come on, Cynthia. Get some super kills in. Booyah. Your triple zeros will do nothing, fool. Well, first things first, let's talk. Prince Krom of Elysian League, you have my gratitude. You know of our cause? <laughs> of course. I would speak with you more, but first, perhaps? Ah, yes. Time enough for that once the fighting is finished. Then we can blast you with, a uh, Let's blast you with magic. It'll take a while for Long Ku to get in there and be able to s join up with her. I guess what we can, let's visit. Yes, helping Sairi, are you? Good, good. We need such bravery in these times. Here now, sell this at market and use the funds to arm your forces. I'd rather see you put it to use than that, have that tyrant steal it. Dude, you are amazing and I love you. Oh, you have no weapon. That's not good. But now that we're over here, you gonna die. Time for blasting. I love mana keats. I love the shift the shifter characters. They're such amazing.
and I'll stab you from behind, because that's what a true hero does. Now get going, Longku. You have an ally up there to help. Time to stab with sword. Because the sand it acts as a desert. That's kind of hilarious. Level up time. And now they shall die one by one. See, I could give her this. Here, have a. S oh wait, you can, can you use that? Yeah, you can. Silver sword for you. Ah, perfect. Sword master and sword ma. Oh. It We'll send her here so she can attack. Silver sword. He had a 50% chance to hit and he failed. Fool. And now join up with her. Strike down this guy. With spear. Again, I love the critical hits giving the cherry blossom leaves. Swap and smack you. Because we can. I won. Let's activate the steel bow and blast some fools. Goodbye. I love that view of them in the, s the, <laughs> the waves. Congratulations, you have done nothing. Well, he'll have to die before we can access that door. Good job there. I'm glad that I gave you the super sword. Yes, feed my new sword master. So long as she doesn't die. Don't feed her too much. We need her alive. Excuse There's no standing against the Emperor. All who question him are slain on the spot. I'm a refugee here. The dastard raged my entire village just for the sport. If you truly mean to fight him, I'd have you take this. You can use it to heal the wounds of your comrades from afar. gonna blast you of magic. Booyah. We'll come up here and visit this place as well. well. Oh well, you don't look imperial, do ya? 
Care for a wee bit of gossip? I hear tale of resistance movements all across the continent, each one striving to end Walhut's cruel tyranny. But the divided, scattered. They say a beautiful sword mistress is trying to unite them. Cool, blimey. Now, I've never seen them myself, this lady, but I wish to help her all the same. Should you find her, ask that she read this. It'll make her even keener with a blade. Hell yeah, we'll give it to her. It'll give her up all the way. Blast you with a steel bow. Thank you. Send that away. Beat him up, bunny. Booyah. Motherfucker with the magic better not kill her, you bastard. Stay alive, sword mistress. Okay, good. They're going for somebody else. But she's still gonna be in a dangerous spot from everybody else coming to kill her. All vantage, hell yeah! That is the first time I've had that activate for me. Aw, oh, son of a bitch. Don't. Don't you dare. Don't. You dare. Goody, goody. Well, let's swap and strike you down for being a bastard. Everyone. Blast them with magic. Again, it must be terrible to be like, Ah, oh, we are winning this war. Suddenly a dragon. Stab this motherfucker. But you came from the future where good didn't triumph. Are you high right now? Talk quietly now. The Conqueror has ears everywhere. Between us, I support the resistance and all, but I'm not about to stand against him. If his men knew I talked to you, it's I likes to be open and wear me like a jacket. Uh, but good luck to you, though. Oh, fine. Here, take this. Just don't tell anyone I helped you. That's funny. <laughs> Oh, fine. I still find it hilarious that a Grandmaster technically isn't a goddamn mage. You've picked a very bad person to deal with. And a level up for the boy. And let's keep on the leveling up, I suppose. Guess if we swap, that'll be faster. Slightly up, so we can hopefully get to the stairs faster. They're probably not going to get there in time to do anything, but still. Let's grab this. I snuck in some practice. So I might kill people even faster. <laughs> it reminds me of Maxor's... Uh, Diddly D. 
the, uh, what is it, the Maxor is not totally accurate. Uh, Rising Revengeance, Metal Gear Solid. It's like, you make me want to kill myself faster. Maxor is a funny little man. Blast this guy with magic, because he's ugly and deserves to die. That's why he wears all the armor. Jesus, you are fast little motherfucker. Dude in big armor charges towards you. Say hello. Let's see. Yeah, these guys aren't getting there fast enough, so... Time for you to go down. Long live the Emperor! Death to all who oppose him! Well, sadly you oppose me, so now you get to die. And stab. I may fall, but we are legion. You cannot stop the conquer. But I will. I'm going to stop him. I'm going to stop him hard. Mercy, friends. The tales of your strength were no exaggeration. I am called Seiri, and I fight with the resistance. What? So there is an organized resistance. Right. I of sorts. Several groups formed to seek liberty for the states of Valm. Really? I thought the Emperor had stamped out all dissenters. Hi. He tries, but we resistance are a slippery lot. We strike hard and then vanish again into the dark of the night. Even now, rebels ride to the banner of uh, dynasts across the continent. United, we could pose a veritable threat to Walhart. And so, for some time, I have struggled to bring us together. What's stopping you? Greed, jealousy, sloth, all the old weaknesses of man. The dynasts would all, ha all would have freedom, but on their own terms. Some refuse to take up arms unless their territory is threatened. Others thrive under the conqueror's heel and will not join unless there is profit in it. Liberty is a fine word, I, but not always enough to rouse men from foolishness. Oh my. I take it you're looking for a mere convincing argument, then? Right. Just so, although my efforts thus far have met with meager success. I fear many distrust me because my brother fights for Walhart. Hold on. Why does he support the Empire? Would that I knew, good sir. Yen Fei was a good man once, but he is my brother no more. If we meet on the battlefield, I would cut him down, same as any other Imperial. Walhart is said to command a million men now, perhaps more. Sooner or later, he will stamp out the resistance entirely if we do not unite. What? Oh, Krom, did she just say he has a million soldiers? Aye. Ha, huh, and what are a million men against the Elysian dogs of war? You stopped a thousand of their ships, did you not? Your daring strategy has awoken and inspired people across all of Valm. Together I know we can yet unite the resistance and break Walhart's grip. Help me, Prince Krom, I beg of you. My lord. My lord? This is no easy thing you ask of me. I have my own causes. A holodom to save and a future to win. Father. I know a great battle has been foretold, but is this it? How to know? Still, I admire your courage. Perhaps your mission is the best way to achieve mine. So yes, Sairi, I will join your cause with my own. And if I'm wrong, it's my life on the line, as it should be. Now, what will it take to unite your people? My gratitude. Well, I do have one idea. And we will not know it until next time, it seems. Nope, nope, we'll know this time. No. Since ancient times, many of our people have worshipped Naga. More precisely, we worship the Divine Dragon's Oracle, Lady Tiki. Though most know her only as of the Voice. The Voice is trapped in her temple as Walhart's prisoner, but if she were freed... The Resistance would, could unite around her. Where is the Voice being held? Right. There is a shrine built in the branches of the Divine Mila Tree. She is confined there. Good. Then we have our plan. Let's get to it.
Huzzah! Alrighty then, we'll check out barracks, check out the support, and then... That will be that. Nothing feels better than surviving a battle. What do you do to celebrate? Usually I'm maintaining my weapons or training, but I go on walks too. And support! Fresh and Cheshinawi. Hee <laughs> hee! Yay, Minerva! One more time, one more time! I'm glad you and Minerva are having so much fun together, Nawi. But maybe it's time to stop wrestling and give Minerva a break. Minerva is powerful, yes, but you're a formidable foe yourself in dragon form. Alright, sorry Minerva, did I tire you out? <clears throat> Poor Nawi, you still want to play, don't you? Nope. It's okay, I don't mind. Well, maybe I might a little, but if Minerva is pooped, I just have to be patient. Perhaps I could take the place of Minerva. Huh? Are you crazy? I'm a dragon. I'll smush you into paste. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know about that. I once bested Minerva, after all. Really? What? Really? Mm -hmm. Really? So you don't have to worry about scratching me with those claws, young lady. <laughs> all right, then. Here I come. Adorable. Now in Longku, I... Somehow. So, hey. Longku, play with me! <laughs> no. Oh, come on, please. It's boring playing by myself. Aren't you so bored? No. I like being alone. Go ask someone else. I was going to, but they all look super busy. Uh, are you saying I don't? Because I am busy. Very busy indeed. <laughs> Your tears have no effect on me. Besides, everyone knows I have a crippling fear of women. And yet, why do I not feel that fear around her? I must learn why. <laughs> what did you say? I can't hear because I'm crying. No, nothing of importance. However... I've decided that I will play with you, but only for a short time. Yippee! You're the best! So... Yes, yes. Stop hogging around. Now, what game do you wish to play? Um, thinking harder. I know. Let's play house. What? I do not know that game, but it does not sound like something I'd enjoy. Nope. It'd be fun. You get to play dad. Uh, if you insist, but only for a short while. Okay. Great. Then I'll be mummy. Right. Is that for the rules, then? I was hoping dice were involved. <laughs> These characters amuse me greatly. Pawn and yawn. <laughs> Sleep tonight and good night. You are thy mother's delight. Uh, uh, mother? I know you're just trying to imitate human mothers, but I don't think it's working. Well, well, that's a relief. I was feeling very foolish. That's funny. I thought perhaps human customs might be similar enough to work for Togwall. But it seems perhaps I was mistaken. <laughs> Which is why I was saying we should find our own way. Hmm. Did you say something? No, nothing at all. Uh, you don't have to glare at me like that. It's not my fault the lullaby didn't work. Was I glaring? I didn't mean to. You must try to remember that you're more timid than you look. I'm not timid. Well, perhaps I am. Just a little bit. But who wouldn't be in my situation? I'm the last of... One of the last surviving Togwall. If I die, it could mean the end of our race. You. So it's not battle that you fear, but rather the role you've taken on. Yes, I'm proud of my ancestry. Of the Togwall blood you've passed on to me. I don't want to be known as the fool who allowed his race to die. But after meeting you here in this world, I want to do more than just survive. There's something else about being Togwall. Something I feel in every hair of my being. It's something I can't quite put into words, but maybe when I can, it'll help guide us. Until then, I think we should stop trying to imitate humans. Let's try things our own way and see what comes natural, what feels right. It may take a while, but I think we'll find the answers we want eventually. Thank you. Well said. Very well, then. We shall try it your way. Adorable. And yawn and gnaw. Huh? huh? Is that yarn? <sighs> huh. What was that? Some kind of secret toggle focus training? What? It was a sigh. Wow. That was a pretty impressive for a sigh. I thought it was part of an ancient form of meditation or something. <laughs> You've got some imagination, gnaw. I guess the world looks different when you can turn into a dragon. Gods, I'm so jealous. Huh? What? Where did that come from? Well, can you blame me? There's the claws and the fangs and the breath and the part where you're all huge. Who wouldn't be jealous of all that? Hey, us dragons have our share of problems too. You're a pretty obvious target when you're as big as a barn. Hmm. Yeah, I guess, but still. Yay. Besides, you can transform too. Yeah, into a rabbit! Not exactly feared as nature's deadliest killers, are they? Huh? Maybe not, but they're quicker than most. That makes them perfect for quick tactical strikes and diversion runs. I mean, come on, bunnies have their strengths. Calling them bunnies is not helping. Oh, let's not talk about it. It's depressing. You're the one who brought it up. 
I like these interesting little dynamics. But that shall be it for now. We finished off recruiting the last of the future children and have made our way to Valm by burning a fleet and taking a harbor. And now we're going to go on and take, uh, presumably on a whole army to free the voice of Naga, it seems. Why do I feel like I've heard the name Tiki when it comes to, like, blah, 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 Fire Emblem before? I don't know. It's been forever. But neat. I love it. I wonder how many chapters there are. We're at chapter 15. I've done 16 paralogues. At least I assume 16. I've done a lot of paralogues. I've done about the same amount of paralogues as I have normal chapters. There's a lot in this goddamn game. But I do believe that I'm mostly good. But, but before, 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 let's check everybody over to make sure that I'm not, like, forgetting anybody who needs to be made greater. Ba 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 ba. Frederick! Alright, Freddy boy. We're gonna keep you a great night because I just think it would work good for you. And it'll still probably take a while for you to level up unless this fixes things. But either way, hippity gee, I don't care about getting him anything else. I like his versatility with weapon levels. And really, it doesn't seem like there are only a handful of skills that seem like super good. Like, Swordbreaker is pretty cool as a very cool weapon and stuff, but very, like, it's like sort like, the breakers can be pretty good for, like, specific targets, and then Gale Force seems to be pretty good overall, but overall, skills just seem to be icing on the cake rather than a whole diddly dee themselves. But yes, I'm really enjoying Fire Emblem Awakening. It is a lot of fun. A lot of fun indeed. And I... Can't wait to start more, do more, and then I can't wait to experience the other Fire Emblems like Fate, even though I'll have to decide, do I just want to do one route and then the true route of Fate, or do I want to do Birthright, Conquest, and then the super duper golden ending one, I think it is. Because there are a lot of, because like I also want to do Fire Emblem Warriors, and then Fire Emblem Three Houses, and then the Fire Emblem Three Hopes Warriors game. There's so many Fire Emblem games I want to do. And then I have to go back someday and play the older ones that don't have a casual mode that will force me to suffer unless I choose to save scum, which also includes suffering in its own way. Yeah, because if I ever do go back and play the older Fire Emblems and institute a save state casual mode, I will have to, like, basically bite the bullet and think of a, like... One way I think I would do it is set a save state right at the beginning of a battle. And then if somebody dies and I want to keep them alive, I have to start the battle over from the very beginning if I want to keep them alive kind of thing. Uh, but that's for future me to worry about when I backtrack. But yes. Um, I guess we'll quickly go over what happened again because my brain is on fire and bouncing around a million things. Noir is weird. And all and again, I feel sorry for Gregor. He was like the only one I felt half decent pairing up with Tharja. And apparently Tharja is kind of abusive and makes future Gregor cry himself to sleep. And I don't like that. <laughs> and Noir is like half insane with a split like not really a split per personality, but more like a split attitude. Mood swings to the max. In which she becomes crazy murderous. Yeah. And then we found Na. Again, weird names. Nawi, Na. So I do find it funny that Na is, like, more, like, mature than her mother, even though she's, like, scores of years younger. I really like to... I do like the idea of the future children. It's just the fact that they can't form supports with other characters is kind of... Aww. That's the only downside to me. Is that you cannot get them like da 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 da. 
Like, they can, like, apparently, like, form, yeah, form supports with the other future children, but that kind of limits your army composition if you want to super min-max. Especially considering there's, like, lunatic difficulty. So, either you're gonna be stuck with your, like, normal army and not use the future children at all. And that's also another thing, if you do, like, high difficulty on classic you are at l risk of losing more units if you do the paralogs. Yeah. But... Yeah. We burned a fleet at sea by sacrificing our own fleet. Well, half our fleet. And then took a port. I wonder what Walhart will be like, and obviously after the campaign in Valm, we're probably going to come back to Ferox, Pelagia, and Elise, Elise to find... Validar having done something, things are gonna go crazy. Yeah. I wonder how many chapters there are in this game, though. Maybe 30 and we're halfway through? Because... I think it would be like, kind of... Because, let's see. This is 15, 14... Because we kind of spent like, 10-ish chapters doing the Elise, Elise Plegia War. Then there were chapters setting up the Valm War, and now we're into the Valm War. And when we come back around 2021, we'll probably have Validar making their move, and it will be the Elise, Elysian, uh, like, League versus the Return of Grima. There's gonna be a lot going on. <laughs> but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see... Oh, I, I forgot the, my proper fiddly D. My proper outro. I'm a dumb. My brain is melted. If you want more from me, you know, as things are just... If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels. The edited and scripted content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, where I post reviews and countdowns and just other things. Essays, if I want. Just scripted and edited videos on con... Topics. My brain wa wanted to say content when I meant topics. My brain is melting. But yes essays on various topics, and then if you want to watch me play games live or watch the games I've played in the past, you can watch it all on the Neon Icy Games YouTube channel. Like I said, you can watch me play games live there, like I'm currently going to live stream uh, Ace Attorney Trilogy. I forget what the third game is called, but the third Ace Attorney game some point in the future again, because I'm down to the last case and I need to finish that off. But... If you want to watch me play the games of the past, the games I've already played as recordings, you can catch, like, the Mass Effect trilogy, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Undertale, lots of games of the past, Spyro. All there should be found. But if you prefer to watch me play games live on Twitch, I also have a Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash neonicywings. Other such things you might like, if you like my little avatar in the corner, you can watch me post various arts to different art websites like Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Pillowfort, Inkblot, all over the place. Meh. And you can find links to all of those sites and more through my link tree. Linktr.ee slash NeonIcyWings. Other such things in my link tree include... Uh, links to my writing, if you pr want to see the various words I've written down in stories I have to be told. And if you want to be kind, you can throw a dollary do or so at me through my Patreon to help me survive the evils of the world. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>